the nurse in the primary care clinic meets with a 22-month-old boy and his mother, who is concerned about his sleeping habits. He cannot sleep without a bottle of milk and wakes during the night to ask for more. What should the nurse tell the child's mother? A. Put juice in the bottle instead of milk. B. It is better for you to leave him with water instead of milk. C. Let him have one bottle of milk at bedtime, but do not give a second bottle. D. He can have a bottle of milk before bedtime, and you can give him another bottle when he asks. E. Do not let him have any bottles in the crib. The answer is B. It is better for you to leave him with water instead of milk. Babies and toddlers should not fall asleep with bottles full of milk or juice with them at bedtime. Plain water would be acceptable for a child to have at bedtime, as it does not have any sugar. The sugar in milk and juice will remain in the child's mouth during sleep and cause caries, even if the teeth are not fully formed. It is common for babies to lose interest in bottles at night time when water is substituted. The nurse cares for a two-year-old boy whose mother is worried that he is not fully toilet trained yet. The mother is worried because he is not yet able to hold his urine for more than a couple hours, but is proud that he can use the toilet for bowel movements. How should the nurse reply to the mother? A. Your child could be developmentally delayed and should have achieved full toilet training by now. Let me refer you to a pediatric psychologist. B. You should tell your son no every time he wets himself. That is the only way he will learn that his behavior is not acceptable. C. Bladder control is usually achieved before bowel control, but he is on track to become fully potty trained. D. Bladder control is usually achieved after bowel control, but he should be fully potty trained by this age. E. Bladder control is usually achieved after bowel control. So toilet training can take anywhere from 2 to 3 years to fully achieve. The answer is E. Bladder control is usually achieved after bowel control, so toilet training can take anywhere from 2 to 3 years to fully achieve. Toilet training may be achieved anywhere from 24 months to 36 months, and may sometimes take longer for boys than girls. Bladder control usually occurs after bowel control. Parents should not be concerned if their children take the full 36 months to become toilet trained or if they have difficulty holding their urine longer than a few hours due to the small size of their bladders. Toilet training that takes longer than three years may be caused by psychological factors but this child is not in need of the assessment of a child psychologist at his age. The nurse should not encourage the mother to tell the child that his behavior is unacceptable because it is not expected of him to achieve full toilet training for another year. At what age should an infant show stranger anxiety? A. 2 to 4 months. B. 6 to 8 months. C. 8 to 12 months. D. 4 to 6 months. The answer is C. 8 to 12 months. An infant begins to show signs of anxiety toward strangers between 8 and 12 months of age and may recur until 2 years of age. This anxiety can show as silence, staring writhing or crying in the presence of people they don't know. At what age does an infant develop the grasping response? A. 3 to 4 months. B. 6 to 8 months. C. 0 to 3 months. D. 4 to 6 months. The answer is C. 0 to 3 months. The grasping reflex is the earliest reflex developed by the infant. It is often present at birth, the infant will grasp at objects such as a finger placed into their open palm. 
At what age will an infant develop an inferior pincer grasp? A. 6 to 9 months. B. 4 to 5 months. C. 9 to 12 months. D. 2 to 4 months. The answer is A. 6 to 9 months. The inferior pincer grasp is the ability to pick up small objects such as by resting the forearm on a surface and pinching using the sides of the thumb and the index finger. It is an important milestone in the development of fine motor skills. <laughs>